This one's an, an antique, but they number every one of their saddles. No kidding. Yeah. Would you they, go 80 on the PlayStation? They're not cheap. I'm not going to tell you. Sure, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to be. Got fourteen dollars worth here. Okay. Go. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Come on in. We're not quite ready, but you're welcome to look around. Yeah, definitely. Just a little chilly to start, but it should be a good day. Yeah. How much are your jackets and hoodies? Um, they're all different. I haven't had a chance to mark them, but uh, where was I? I think from here forward, we're five dollars each. Okay. And then um, somewhere in here. Does that go for all these pieces? Are all five? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So like three, two, five. Cool. Five, three, two. <laughs> I don't know if the controllers work. They do. We just don't yeah. have the um, whatever station it went with. Three or four. I don't remember now. But... I've got three of the five dollar. Pieces. You want the hangers back? If you don't mind. Yeah, not a bit. Okay. I'll help you take these out. Do you have any other video game stuff? No, that, no, was, that was really it. kind of okay. the last of it. At least if they would let me sell. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Nobody here yet. No? <laughs> no. I'm sure they will be. She just introduces herself and that we got VIP tickets and blah, blah, blah. And then I like it because it makes a little thing you can plug it in so it keeps going. But, you know, they can use underneath for some little jewelry or things, you know? How much is the Who poster? Um, let's see. It comes with a little thing. I think it's right yeah, here. Yeah. Um, it's eight. Eight bucks? Mm -hmm. I'll buy that. Okay. And then I've got some other things I wouldn't oh, okay. show on the price here. I've got a blanket, a sign, and a gumball machine. Alrighty. Um, the gumball machine is 10, uh, 15. How about 25 for everything? Uh, and that's including the poster? Okay, well, that would be 30. Okay, I apologize. Yeah, uh, I'll do 30. Okay. Yep, that works. I wasn't sure if you were counting that or not. Yeah. <laughs> that's for my 19 second. Um, how about $10? There you go. Uh -huh. Thank you. This one is more. It isn't? Okay, we'll just pick stuff out and I'm going to give you a deal. So these are all 35 a piece, huh? Yeah, the one is 
the, that box, and it got beat up years ago in shipment. Yeah. Was this? So that one's thirty, but they're all, you know. The, bar, the other Barbies I sold some years ago, the kids all played with them, but I just didn't let them fool with these. Yeah. This one is from 1992, I think. Yeah. Clearance sale, and yeah, I wish I'd have bought all of them. I, there were like 10 of them there, but I didn't. I remember, I don't even know. Hey, I didn't catch your name. Jason. Jason, I'm John. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Good find on those controllers. You beat me to them. I was uh, messing with the clothes. Yeah, had a broken piece or something. Yeah. That other one's pretty good. As long as they'll hold charge. Right. I'm gonna buy your uh, Debbie Harry Barbie. Thirty-five out of you. Yes, sir. You have a five by chance? I sure do. Perfect. Whether it's out here or not is another question. Thank you much. You're welcome. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. I'm the one that does the putting together of this. And... Oh, are you? It's a lot of work. <laughs> Well, it's a lot of work on the advertising, and it wouldn't be, but everybody just keeps asking me when the sale is that I've been advertising since January oh my on goodness. my HOA pages. Yeah. And then they want to get in after the list is closed. Yeah. I don't do that part. <laughs> I'll tell you from the shopper's perspective, it's much appreciated because oh. I know how much work it is to organize all this yeah. stuff. And, and it wasn't until about maybe four or five years ago we were able to do a document that we could put on the oh yeah on the thing yeah that's such a big help it's usually helpful yeah have a great day thanks thank you so much thank you Hello. morning hi how much are your saddles um i was thinking That's a kid's one, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah. it is. This one's an, an antique. Um, I don't know if you know Buford Saddles, but they number every one of their saddles. No kidding. And this is number 60 that they ever made. So number 60? Wow. 70s, yeah. That's cool. So I was going to ask 100 100 bucks. They're beautiful. Yeah, it needs a little love. But um, I mean, for as old as it is, it looks like it's in great shape. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. How did you get it? I've had it for a little while. Have you? Um, I tried to just like save it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just hate it seeing it sitting rotten and everything. Right. But it has all your wow. tack. Wow, yeah. It's, it's kind of neat. The The main part about it is like this, and that's still all pretty good. Uh huh. This stuff is not. This, I mean, this floppy. Mm -hmm. Like that's going to need to be replaced. But all of this is what's important. Wow. Yeah, it's gorgeous. How much are your sweaters? Um, um, like three. Three bucks. I know. How about your shoes? Um, seven. I'll do that. Then I'll get even ten. There you go. I'll Thank get your you. hanger back for you too. There you go. Thank you so much. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Appreciate it. How much is your video game stuff? Uh, I'm asking 100 for PlayStation, 100 for Wii, but that includes all the games and the steering wheels and the console and gotcha. everything. I owe you uh, 10 bucks here. Okay. <laughs> Would you Thank go 80 on the PlayStation? Probably not right now, okay. but it might do that later in the yard. Sure, sale. I understand. Good luck with your sale. Oh, thank you. Morning. Morning. Thank you. 
morning? Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. A little chilly, but all in all, it's a decent day for it. Yeah. Would you take 10 for that? Um, sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Have a great day. What are you asking for them? Um, 15 would be great. 15 bucks? The bag and everything, yep. Okay. Yes. The guys. Yeah, I know. It's my only place to shop. I'm yeah. Ben's mom. Yep. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so Good luck much. With the sale. Enjoy. Yeah. go 20 on the two of these yes okay thank you why don't you know old cars from motorcycles oh no fresh out of them <laughs> thank you good luck with the sale <laughs> thank you morning you good about yourself i don't know why i'm out here but i'm here <laughs> let's talk to the chief about that all oh, right she's in charge she's in charge of everything so. okay Camille, yes. help this gentleman here for a second. Okay, Those are real, by the way. How you doing? Yeah, that is neat. How are you? You a big baseball collector? Uh, well, I, I'm more than a collector. Yeah? <laughs> I was supposed to be in the same pitching uh, group. When I when I went, the Yankees brought me into stadium. I was number two out of the rotation, and it was uh, it was hard to stand on that mound and. Yeah, know, that I you, bet. Yeah, it, it was, and I did. I struck out nine guys and one guy. No kidding. My claim to baseball fame was my sister was Tom Brownie's babysitter. <laughs> so I had access to Brownie. Brownie was a close friend of mine. Was he? Yeah, yes, he, he was at my house just about every every uh, day of the week. Yeah. Wow. What year did you pitch for the Yankees? I didn't stay. Did you got a cup of coffee, as they say. No, no. You have a good day. Take care. Thank you. What happened was Hodges brought me in to his group. I didn't realize he he died of smoking. Oh, really? In the hallway of of a of a uh, some place in Queens. I don't know which one it was. He called me up because I had I had tried out, and he what, he said something to me. He had his secretary call me, and I thought she was jerking me around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was the guy you wanted to play for yeah that's amazing but anyway he uh, he said to me he says i need you here i want you here yeah now were you already were you in kentucky at the time where'd you grow up no i was in new york you were in new york yeah i was 18. wow but uh he uh he called well he had his secretary call me, and she called me at home, and she said, Vincent, <laughs> she said, uh, Mr. Hodges wants you here uh, tomorrow. So, Mr. Hodges, I, I can't, I can't come. Yeah. So, he... Uh, you had been drafted? No, I enlisted. Oh, okay. 
but it was too late for me. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And he, uh, he said, she said, I've never seen him that mad. Yeah, but if if, if you had enlisted, I don't think there's anything you could have done. Well, they sent me home. Oh, did they really? Yeah, they wow. sent me home, and uh, well, actually, they kept me there three days. Huh. To watch what was wrong. Yeah. They had they had a lot of a lot of stuff, and anyway. Did you ever get a pitch again? No, I gave it up. Mm. Did you want to t talk about them? Yeah, I'd love to. They're not cheap. I'm not going to tell you. Sure, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to be. You got a couple of Nolan Ryans, Oswald. Well, Oswald, I, I took a chance on him. Here, I can set these aside. What are you asking on the jerseys? Well, it all depends on which one it is. That's Joe. Uh, oh, Morgan. Or no, wait, Terry. Yeah, Joe Tory. Why did I say Tory, Terry? Yeah, Joe Tory. He's That's a neat. He, what a terrific guy he is. Yeah, I got to meet him. Um, this has been almost ten years now. They did a the Mike and Mike show, and he was in there. They they broadcasted at the Moorline House for the All Star Game when it was here. You got a little bit of everything. Well, it's you know that was my way to stay in baseball. Yeah. Are you in a hurry? Not really, no. Okay, what do you, you're trying to, do you want me to stand out here while you, do you want me to look no, at it? No, 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 I, what is, I, what I, is I, this it? gentleman explain wants, it to he's me. a baseball guy. I know, explain what I'm looking for. Do you know what he's looking It's for? a Gil Hodges uh, framed piece. Okay, well I'll go and look for it. Remember the one I showed you, I said the guys were at the plate. Was it up here, not yeah. downstairs? Yeah, okay. it was. Let me go look at it. Is it, it was one, the is one. Is it in the pile of the stuff to sell? Well, I don't know. Well, let me look. And we're moving. Uh, when are you moving? When? Mm -hmm. uh, the 29th of May. Oh, so you've got like a month? we got a month wow. to get rid of everything. Yeah. I'm back at the house, and I had an amazing day at the garage sales. Probably my best day ever. And my best find isn't even on this table, but I'm going to show you this stuff, and I'll save the best for last. First off, though, um, I made a big screw up at one sale. I went to the sale. And went to the clothing rack and like started doing a deep dive on what pieces were there and how much he was asking. And as I was fumbling with the clothes, somebody walked up, found the PS4 controllers and got four of them for a dollar. And uh, ended up talking to the guy's name is Jason. Really nice guy. Happy for him that he got the stuff. But yeah, that you don't do that. When you go to garage sales, you, you do a swoop around first, you know, do a lap and make sure there's no like obvious things to grab. Then you can kind of do a deep dive. So Total screw up on my part, worked in Jason's favor. Um, let's see, the clothing I did get that I was so hung up on, uh, I got some North Face, I guess these are like some light fleet, fleece jackets, those are five a piece, and then I got this uh, Michael Kors, I don't know, some kind of top dress, something, I don't know. New with the tags uh, for five bucks, so I grabbed that. Did a bundle deal at one sale for this uh, Logitech um, keyboard and mouse combo that is new sealed in the package and then I got this uh, Gaiman heart flute I paid 20 for the pair the um, Logitech stuff is going for about 40 and the flute is going for about 50 got the uh, Harry Potter and Hedwig Brickheads Lego um, obviously assembled out of box I paid eight and they're going for about 20 got a pair of Oakley's with the case for a dollar that was a no-brainer Got some Echo golf shoes. This is a good brand. Uh, keep an eye out for Echoes. I paid five for these. I should get 50 or 60. I love finding these singing bird clocks, especially new in the box. I paid five for this one. I go for about 30. Got this Who poster. When I saw it, I thought it was signed uh, by the artist. It is not. The um, COA specifically says it is a printed signature. And you can tell it's printed when you look up close at it, but still a neat print. Got this Barbie doll on the second time around at that sale. Um, I had already bought some stuff and loaded it up and came back. She was asking $35 bucks, um, for each Barbie, which is a lot. But this one here goes for like $150. So if you see the Debbie Harry Barbie doll, snatch it up. I got this Banana Republic sweater, uh, wool cashmere. This is a large. Uh, I paid $3, and they're going for right around $25. This is a cool find. This is a Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young throw blanket this lady was so cool i could have talked to her all day like she had so much stuff 
from concerts that she had been to and just bet she had a lot of stories so yeah this is let's see blues image and john sebastian and then is it this side i know on one side i saw crosby stills nash and young here here we go crosby stills nash and young um i can't remember what i paid for each piece um i kind of did a bundle deal on some things. I got some Merrill shoes. These were seven, but they look pretty clean. This is a really interesting find. A home improvement throw blanket. Yes, that home improvement, the TV show from the 90s. These are pretty rare. Um, I paid five for it. There was only a handful listed and a um, handful sold, and they were going for like 50 bucks. Real men don't need instructions. So that's hilarious. Got this CapTel uh, video phone for 10. Uh, this one's going for right around 40. Also got these Solomon inline skates. These look so clean. Uh, she said she wore them once and I believe it. Uh, I think the model on these is AC7. I could not find that model, but when I searched Solomon inline skates, they had a really, really good sell-through rate and it seemed like they were going for right around 70 to 80 bucks. I paid 15 for those. All right, so what made today the best garage sale day ever is because the sale I went to where the gentleman had the jerseys hanging up and I started looking at him and we started talking. I was there for an hour and a half. We were just shooting the breeze. He was telling me all kinds of wild stories. I guess um, he was a really good pitcher back in the day in the 60s. And he said that Gil Hodges called him and like wanted to come pitch with the Yankees. But he had enlisted and his dad talked him into going to the Army and then like working for Pan Am. Like just wild, awesome stories. He didn't have anything priced, and it didn't seem like he was eager to part with it, but they had to move, so he was like, I really just got to get rid of this stuff. My GoPro battery died like 20 minutes into that sale. We were just talking, and I stayed there because I was enjoying his company, I was enjoying the stories, and he had some really, really neat stuff that it seemed like he wanted to sell me, and eventually he did. All right, here is everything I got from Vince. This is the Nolan Ryan jersey that you guys probably saw before the battery died. It is signed by Nolan Ryan. And this is Cooperstown Collection. Doesn't have uh, any kind of like authenticity with it, but that is most definitely Nolan Ryan's signature. Let's see, got this Roy Oswalt jersey. Very cool. This is a Majestic brand and had this neat patch too. Um, let's see, Randy Johnson. This is the old school Diamondbacks jersey. Love that logo. This is Rawlings Authentic. Which I thought was a pretty cool. Authentic collection. And I got this Mitchell and Ness. Nolan Ryan. This one's not signed, but still a very cool jersey. And then there's the cards. Um, you guys probably saw me digging through these a little bit before the battery died. He had some amazing cards. A lot of them were 90s, early 2000s, but there's a good chunk of vintage in here as well. So we've got um, Ken Griffey Jr. Random Power Rangers. Let's see here. The vintage are in here somewhere, kind of scattered throughout. We got Warren Spawn. There's a Nelson Fox. A couple Tom Glavins. That's a neat one. Manol and Hank Aaron. You can see the condition's not great. The corners are kind of bad, but I mean, a lot of these are from like the 50s and 60s, so you can't expect them to be mint. Yastrzemski, there's a modern Morton Spawn, here's a Duke Snyder, uh, there's an Eddie Matthews, Robin Yao patch card, oh that's cool, Schmidt, Hilton, and Ron Say. This right here is really interesting. Um, this is likely a reprint, but I, I don't know for sure. So this is the 19, I think 53 or 54 Red Heart Mantle. They made a reprint of this, and the reprint says reprint at the bottom left corner. It looks like this card has been, I mean, maybe tampered with or just faded away to where you can't see that. Um, and also in the original card, it said something about like a sausage company, I think, down here. So I will do my research and see if this is real, if it's a reprint. If it is real... Um, it's got some serious value to it. So I'll try to figure out uh, to my best ability if I think it's real. And if I do, then I'll send it off to uh, PSA to get authenticated and graded. Because um, otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't know that it's really worth much. But yeah, 
if it's real, very cool, very valuable card. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Just a little bit of everything. Here's a maze. That's a beauty. Now, if you don't know a lot about cards, they do reprint these. There's a lot of modern reprints, and the way you tell is the year will be on there for the reprint. It'll say like 2012, 2014, whatever. Um, otherwise, uh, it should be a legit card. There was um, this one right here. This Hank Aaron is a reprint, and it says right here, Jalfco reprint 1988. So you know it's not an original card. Uh, let's see, we got a mantle right there. Eddie Matthews, and then there's just lots and lots and lots of really cool, like, what we call napkin patch cards, you know, these little ones. But they're good players, so like Pedro Martinez, Pujols, Pujols, Andy Pettit double patch, Francisco Lindor. Just an awesome, awesome collection of cards, and it's more of the same in here. A lot of vintage just some really great cards that Vince has. Uh, I didn't go through every single card, but from what I did see, it seems to be an amazing collection. I spent a lot of time with Vince. Like I said, I was there for an hour and a half and he wasn't wanting to really make prices on anything. <laughs> it seemed like even when I was there, different people came up and was like kind of picking some of the stuff up and like, what do you want for this? What do you want for that? And he was like, you can't afford it. And it was just, it was really funny to watch because I had a feeling that if I stayed long enough that we could maybe come to a deal. And we finally did. I got everything for $1,000. It's a ton of money to spend at a garage sale, but I'm really happy with what I got because um, I think the value is definitely there to maybe double, potentially triple my money. We'll see. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.